Welcome to the Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. The only show dedicated to helping parents maximize their kids' experiences and for kids to reap the fun. Here are your hosts, the Bodacious Family, Adam, Anthony, and Zachary. Yay! Welcome, 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 welcome back. It's been a long, long, long time. Welcome back to the Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. Now, more energy. Show. A little bit more. Show. I like it. I like it. Hey, my name is Adam. My name is Wacko. Zacko. Wacko. <laughs> I like Zacko. We know Zacko. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lit. I said, you're making like hand gestures and your arms are flailing and they can't see you because podcast. We still are not on video. This is still not a YouTube demonstration. Dang. Yes, dang. So, uh, Zach, man. It's been a while. We have been off the airwaves for a while, but we are back because, uh, well, like a virus um, that doesn't stop, to 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 give you know, just peace and harmony and happiness to people. Yeah, yeah, we're we're COVID twenty twenty two. That's right. This is this is our first episode back in twenty twenty two. Our first episode back in like six months. We took some time because the the COVID kind of got away from us. We never got it, but like it just in terms of like it just wore us down. But we want to kind of retool the show a little bit, right? Yeah. So what kind of things... So as we retool, tell the folks who haven't been listening in a while, what are the types of things that we used to cover on this show? Um, Experiences. Like what? What kind of experiences? Like things that we did as a family, like zip lining. Um, zip lining is a good episode. We talk about you almost yeah. dying. And then the... T- and then we also compare and we do the taco thing. We did the great taco throwdown, which you did, you you almost didn't die during that, but that was a lot of fun. Oh, that was, I, I ate too much tacos. There was too many tacos. It was amazing. I know. And then we also got um, what were our other episodes? And then we also did the one where we did a challenge and see how it affected us. We did like fifty push-ups a day, and then we also did one about um. Like bike riding or something? We did, we did. And so, then, and funny fact, I actually lost my tooth in the middle of that episode. Well, you lost your tooth in the middle of, was it the, um... That was the bicycle one. I thought it was the, I thought it was the, uh, the obstacle course one. Oh, no, it was. Yeah, it was, it was the bicycle one. Because I was, because we were talking about it, and then I just, and then, and then there's blood, and I'm like, what? Yeah, you're like, oh, my tooth came out. <laughs> and those are the kind of experiences that you can't, uh, you just can't manufacture. But it's been a lot of fun, and... Yeah, obviously with COVID, we started like slowing down with what we could do as a family. and But now as we restarted, and we want to restart the podcast, we don't want to focus just on activities. Is that correct? Yeah, movies. Because I've been getting into Harry Potter. We've watched six out of the eight movies. I mean, we're watching the seventh tomorrow. That's but that, will, but that will already be dropped. So basically, when were we uploading this? Uh, Tuesday. Well then... Today, I'll be watching the Harry Potter movie, and I'm pretty pumped because it's definitely Hollows Part 1, but the other other six were great. Um, I have one complaint, and that is in the... Which movie was it? It was in the fifth movie. I, I absolutely despise it when Harry gets, like, a... Like, they just do way too much of him, like, going on the ground and thinking of Voldemort and how, like, that thing, you know? Sure. Harry Potter people, like, you know how it always happens. Like, he just, in the Order of the Phoenix, he just lays down and just, like, faints or something. That happens way too much. It happened, like, 20 times. All right. So first of all, we should give, we don't want to get too much into those Harry Potter podcasts. We, we, but that's what you are into. We do want to talk about those. But, yeah, you talk about movies. And we obviously did a lot of movie episodes before. Like, we you know, we'd go see something. Like, we, I just took you to your very first in-theater MCU Way. experience. Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, we Ow! saw Spider-Man No Way Home. You have seen other uh, MCU movies, but never in theater, in a, in, a, in a full theater. So that was a lot of fun. So we want to talk about, like, things like that, which is both an experience and what I call your cinematic education. And I did this a lot with Anthony about teaching you how to watch good movies because... Um, I watch a lot of good movies. I also watch a lot of bad movies, but no one should really watch a lot of bad movies unless you want to. So I want to make sure that you all have a good cinematic education and watch really good things. 
Um, and the Harry Potter movies definitely are in that. So we're talking about those. We can talk about No Way Home. Yeah, and No Way Home was No Way Home was great. Yeah. So what other experiences have we had recently that we might talk about as well? Because we should do some episodes on some of those too. What do you remember anything offhand that we haven't? You may not remember what we've covered or not covered, but anything that might um, that may have been like a, from a galaxy uh, far, far away that we should talk about. Oh, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. So me, you, and Mom. Sorry, Anthony. He didn't get to go. Uh, but he'll go later. But we went to Galaxy's Edge at, at uh, Disney World at the uh, the Disney Hollywood Studios, and we rode on Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run, and it was amazing. Uh, so we have a previous episode about the Disney Hollywood Studios, but I think we can do another one from your experience there, and then I think there's another episode just on Galaxy's Edge, because it I could talk about that for quite a while, because I don't know if you've noticed this, Zachary, I have seen Star Wars once or twice, and I'm something of a fan. Once or twice. Yeah, I, I'm something. I'm a little bit of a fan. I know. I know a little bit about that stuff. Add three three zeros to the two. Add three. Yeah. I just, two thousand. I just say I know a little bit of stuff. Yeah. And so I can dazzle all of our dozens of listeners with my tales from Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, I'll let you do a five-hour episode on that. It's true. Did you like that noise? No. I just made it up. Yeah, I can tell. Okay. So, one thing I should talk about. So, I like the fact that we're going to be doing this and kind of interweaving both movies and experiences. And I think we have some things already planned. That's good. So, that way, when we really start diving in, people will, will know what to expect. We used to do, at the end of episodes, Zachary's Random Thought of the Day. And we did it because when we first started doing it, you were just a little crazy and you just start babbling off random things so we wanted to like kind of control that i don't know if we need to do that anymore what do you think i'm mature I, yeah you're, you're, let's not say you're I'm mature. Very mature but i don't think we need to do this i random. even comb my hair you well do you really i do when that. oh he's still oh he's always oh, throwing oh. things at me ow ow he's like throwing confetti at me okay i'm just teasing he does comb his hair and, yeah, he, and he actually you, sell, you sell it very you sell it you style it very well yeah but are there any things we should kind of put in episode by episode? Like, I think there should be something like, what did you learn about the episode? Like, you, you, and it could be something that's not really, um, like, school-based. But, like, was there anything from, like, a movie or an experience that, as a lesson, you want to make sure you kind of take away with you? Because, again, this is kind of a time capsule. We, we, we listen to many of these episodes, you know, whenever we're in the car, we listen to these. And so I think there's a way to kind of say how we can draw back from that. What do you think? Is that too much? No, let's do it. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Are there any other things you want to make sure we do cover? Every like, should we cover in episodes like um, I mean, obviously, you just talking about anything is the kids' point of view, but I think the kids' point of view is very important to our listeners. Yep. So yeah, we can always say sometimes like kids are important. They, kids are important. It's almost like kids are people too. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Do you consider kids people? Sometimes. Do you pay taxes? I buy my own ice cream bars sometimes. You do? I win. And do you pay taxes on those ice cream bars? Actually, yeah, because I just pay the entire cost. That's right, so you pay Whoa! sales tax. Oh! You so, just got served I did fourth not, time today. Wait, hold on. I didn't get fourth served. I didn't get served. I just made this a tax podcast. We just talked about taxes, and people were listening, going, "Oh my gosh, they're talking about taxes!" And never and did they anyone... all and they all tuned out. Well, they may hopefully not, <laughs> but that's very possible. Yeah, <laughs> it is. We also we're now down to one listener who's like, "Oh my gosh, I love sales tax." Taxes. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll tell you it's a true story. Um, when I was like seven, um, I would like there's a there was like a um, like a Seven Eleven across the street. And so me and my friends would run across the street. It was a busy street. We should have done it, but we did it anyway. And and we could get like a candy bar or whatever. And I remember that's you know, back in the day when the candy bars were less than a dollar. But I would give them my dollar and whatever the candy bars were, you know, fifty cents. And but it would be like fifty three cents after tax. And so I get all this change back. And I guess I just wasn't smart enough yet to realize that just because I got a lot of coins didn't mean that I was getting more money. So I thought sales tax was like the best thing ever. I'm like, S I made up a little song. It was like, sales tax. Oh, I get my money's backs. And I still, you can't leave. I still remember this horrible, cringy song that I made up from when I was seven. Don't sing it. Sales tax. 
It gives my money's back. It's awesome. You're staring at me as if that I am embarrassing you and this is horrifying. But again, no one can see you because this is not on the TikTok. That's what the kids call it now. No, it's called TikTok and it's called TikTok. <laughs> on the TikTok. Uh, no, no. Uh, on, on the talk? No. Or the TikTok. So I, can I call it 3TT? 3T. T T T. You like that? The three T T? Yeah. You like that so much. I don't know if that I don't know if this just came out, but you like that so much, you just tooted. I heard it. You laughed and tooted at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You no. did. Don't deny it. The one who denied it supplied it. Fine, I don't deny it, so I didn't supply it. So you did it. Sir! Dang, that was a sir. Sir! Alright. So Zach, is there anything else we want to get to people understanding about? about the relaunch, knowing, so this is obviously Tuesday, that next Tuesday, it could be a Harry Potter podcast, most likely, um, but we'll be launching back in full swing next Tuesday, and then every Tuesday, coming live at you, live and in color, uh, Zach and Adam, sometimes mom, I'm thinking, we can probably coax Anthony out of retirement every once in a while, but for the most part, I think this is going to be the, the, the dad and Zach show. Dad? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like that. We are the DZ. Dad and, Dad and Zach. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. You got that? But, but I would like to point out, for anyone, Dad's gotten served twice. So you know I'm not lying when I said I served him five times today. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You have. And this has been not my best day in that regard. I have been... And you're not even serving me up any good food either. You're just... You're, yeah, you... It's happened. Yeah, you just served me food. <laughs> I did. I did. I served you dinner. Chicken nuggets. All right. So, Zach, what did you learn today during this podcast? Did you learn that if I make you laugh, you toot? I mean, I already knew that, but did you learn that? Did you learn that you know, our listeners are going to really enjoy our movie podcast? Did you learn that the cat can, like, you know, we're, we record this in the closet, and she's, like, shoved her way into, like, oh, you know, the recesses of the closet? What did you learn today? I didn't know that a cat can knock down a poster. She did do that, too, during this podcast. Yeah. I don't think anyone heard that, though. But it I happened. Didn't. Yeah, it happened, though. I did. Okay. Anything else that people got to know about? That I served him six oh times Oh, my gosh. And I still have two more hours till bed, so he's going to get served some more. Pretty sure I am just going to go to bed early. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone. And I'll roast you in bed. Just remember, don't just be awesome. Be audaciously awesome. And we'll be back next week. I'll make sure Zach turns up the energy. And we will see you next week, live and in color. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I don't like being served.